In this video, we are looking at the Northwest Accounting Test 1, which was written on the 3rd of March 2023. So we will be basically focusing on the concepts and the accounting equation. Okay, so getting into the question, question 1 talks about concept and transaction analysis, 20 marks and 25 minutes. So it says choose an explanation in column B that matches the term in column A. Write only the letters A to E next to the question numbers 1.1 to 1.1.5 in the answer book. Now column A, okay, which is a bit uh, a bit blurry there. So I have column A and column B, internal auditor first one so we're supposed to read the descriptions in column b so which one do we think most suits an internal auditor so when we read a it says appointed by shareholders to manage a company no b the body responsible for registration of all companies no the employed by a company to ensure good internal control procedures yes so the most correct answer there without reading the others would be C. Now, MOI, which is a Memorandum of Incorporation. Your Memorandum of Incorporation is, is what governs or what the company should be able to follow in terms of its legal format. So now when we read, we check our it. So we already have taken C. Now we... Are looking at a and b so a is definitely not the answer b it says the body responsible for registration of all companies no so now we look at d it indicates that a company has a legal personality of its own no and then if we look at e e should be the correct answer because it says the document that establishes the rules and procedures of a company so e is the most correct answer here okay so then we move to number 1.1.3 a limit a limited liability should be your answer in uh, d so d says indicates that a company has a legal personality of its own because a limited liability is a, is a type of liability that is not going to be entitled onto the owners okay so it's not going to be passed on to the owners the the the, the company is is as is a personality of its own so it incurs liabilities on its name okay so the answer is d That's d and then 1.1.4 a director a director we should all know that it is appointed by shareholders to manage a company okay so that is going to be a and then um without any 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 guess b is now the final answer so companies and intellectual property cipc the body responsible for registration of all companies so that is b okay so now we get into the real stuff accounting equation so we are given 1.2 it reads clay brick ltd required analyze the transactions below according to the headings on on the table provided in the answer book indicate this is very important indicate account debited account credited in the general ledger and the effect on the accounting equation indicate an increase as plus okay a decrease as minus and no effect as zero so if there's no effect you have to put a zero it's it's not like you're supposed to leave it out if, if there's no effect okay so we're given an example example says bought packing material on credit 2700 so account debited was packing material account credited it was creditors control and the amount was 8200 which is a mistake there it is supposed to be 2000 
2700 2700 and then um now you have your assets did not uh, have any effect and then your owner's equity decreased because there's a minus there and then your liabilities increased because you bought on on credit okay and then now your transactions as we get into the questions um the company issued additional 250,000 shares at 3 rands per share. So the company issued an additional 250 shares at 3 rand per share. Now we go to our answer book. Account debited, account credited, amount, assets, owners, uh, equity, and then you have your liabilities. Okay, how do we approach this? First of all, when we issue shares, we know that we definitely going to have an effect on our ordinary share capital. Okay, and you know that your owners, that is your owner's equity. And then when money comes in, because we have issued shares, okay, we are selling shares and we're definitely going to receive money. That money will go into our bank. And then we have an increase in assets. So we have an increase here and increase here. So now it's a matter of debit and credit. Your owner's equity will increase on your credit side. So here you have your ordinary share capital. I'm just going to write cap. But it's capital, so do not abbreviate anything when you are you are doing your exams or tests or, or whenever you're practicing. I'm just doing this for the sake of time. Okay, so account debited, it's a bank because um, this is an asset. It increases on our credit on our debit side. So the amount is because we have issued two hundred and fifty thousand shares at three rands per share. So it's two fifty times three which will give you seven hundred and fifty thousand okay so our assets increase on equity increase and nothing happens to our liabilities okay 1.2.2 the company bought back fifty thousand shares at four rands per share the average issue price of shares was three rand twenty so now here Two accounts are affected. The first one, if you're buying shares, it's going to be your ordinary share capital. We're buying back shares, okay? 50,000 shares, we're buying back them at four rands per share. But the average issue price of shares was three rands 20. So that is what um, is supposed to go to our ordinary share capital, okay? And then now, the remaining amount is supposed to, to come from what we call our retained income. Retained income. I don't know if you prefer saying retained income or retained earnings. Okay. So, what is the remaining amount? It's going to be 80, 80 cents. It's going to be 80 cents. So, one account is affected when we're buying back shares. The first one is going to be our bank. Now, we are crediting our bank because money is coming out of our bank account. Okay. So, our bank is also affected here. The first one, we have our ordinary, ordinary share capital. Then, we have our retained retained income now why are we debiting these because these accounts are our owner's equity accounts they will decrease on the debit side all right so on the ordinary share capital we said we we're gonna have three and twenty times fifty thousand shares that were bought back and this will give us Let's check on our calculator. Uh, just real quickly. OK. 
Okay. So it's 320 times 50. Okay, this will give you 160. 160,000. Okay, so 0, 0,8 0 times 50 now. Because 4 times 5 will give you 20. So I know that's the, uh, if it was the 50,000, it was going to give us 200,000. So now this is supposed to be 40,000. Okay. So our retained income. Now, um, when we're looking at the effect, of course. So our ordinary share capital, our, um, our bank. So our bank in decreased. It's an asset. Owner's equity decreased. Nothing happened to liabilities. Same story this side. Alright. 1.2.3. It says the income tax assessment for the year was received. The income tax amount, 720000 exceeded the provisional tax payments made. So now we know what um, that we we are owing SARS tax because we we have made we have made provisional payments we have made provisional tax payments but the income tax assessment says no um, the actual tax amount that you guys have to pay exceeded your provisional payments now you owe SARS okay. So what you owe to SARS is 720 bucks. You know that this is a liability. Nothing has happened to your owner's equity. Nothing has happened to your assets. So the, you, can, you can just go about with these questions anywhere you want to. Like any, you can start anywhere you want to. Now, with your account credited, you know that we credit your SARS income tax which is your liability account. So this is a liability account. And then you have your income tax. Income tax. So this is your expense account. This is the one you get um, from your income statement. So that is the end of this really short question. I hope you have grasped everything that we have been doing here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment and share with everyone who might need help with accounting. I will definitely see you in the next video.